Good afternoon. We're out here in the greenhouse today and we're trying to prepare the black soldier fly larva bin for cold weather. We lost all of our black soldier flies over the winter last year. They froze outdoors and I'm hoping that this winter we can get this batch to stay warm enough to survive the whole winter. Today is November 25th, 27th. We're getting ready for a cold spill over the next couple of days and I'm going to show you how we're trying to get this thing ready to survive the winter. All right, a little bit of backstory on our black soldier fly bin. We have it inside of our heat sink greenhouse. It stays warmer in here all winter long, but we do get down to freezing on some nights at or around freezing. And I'm afraid that these black soldier flies larva would die. Well, not afraid they would. My idea here is I've got a seedling heat mat we got on clearance at the end of the gardening season. I have about two to three inches of sawdust under that mat. I have taken out all the bedding material that those black soldier fly lava are in. We're going to put this in there, turn it down to the lowest setting, and try to keep the box, the growing medium, their bedding material, and the larva above freezing. I'm okay with the growth rate slowing down through the winter. We're in northern Missouri. It gets pretty cold here. I just want them to survive the winter so that when the spring rolls around, I don't have to buy more larva to start my bin over. This is a 10 by 20 and three quarter inch mat. We paid 20 bucks for the controller and the mat. If this fails, so be it. But if it works, it will be well worth the money. It does have a temperature probe. I'm going to put that a couple inches over the top of the mat. And the controller, once it's plugged in, I will put down about at its lowest setting and let it go. Okay, this is... The heat mat is in. I'm going to put the larva and their bedding material back in here. Get this thing plugged up and get it warm up. It's all in there. We've got it plugged in and running. The controller is at the lowest setting. We're going to let this go for a few weeks. Wait until it gets really cold. Hold on to the footage and see how it does. Today is March 29th and I'm doing the update for the seedling heat mat. There's the controller keeping it at 70 degrees inside of the growing or inside of their bed for the black soldier fly. It has worked. We had the greenhouse get well below freezing for extended periods of time and over the course of the months I come out check my bin and have had larvae that have been self-harvesting. These guys are still alive. I'm taking them. Oh and I've been seeing flies in here the last couple of days too. And none in here this morning. But it worked. They've overwintered. We still have larvae alive, doing well. I just dumped that tote. I wanted to show you that they are indeed alive. Oh, there's a fly right there. Looks like you just hatched, having difficulty flying. Come here. Come here. Right there. Looks like a little male. And the greenhouse, the greenhouse has been sealed up. There's no way that these are coming in from outside. 
it is still too cold for him to be out in the wild outdoors yet so this guy came out of the greenhouse if you're looking for ways to keep your black soldier flies alive through the winter you've got a place that you can at least get the box out of the weather I think that this is a viable option the seedling heat mat was on sale for 25 bucks roughly and it appears to have carried the colony through the winter is it a colony? I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.